This is a short video uh, just to demonstrate how you would uh, use a USB attached external drive uh, to mount the NMT applications on your Popcorn Hour A210. Um, here we are at the main screen. If we go into the setup screen and down to maintenance. Um, we need to choose the NMT setup wizard. Um, this it says this setup process will install the following net networked media tank applications: the Samba server, Torrent client, Universal Plug and Play AV server, and the My iHome server. Um, then it gives you two options: a media setup or a fresh setup. I found with a USB attached drive, you need to go for a fresh setup, which does mean that. Um, any data on the disk will be destroyed so whatever disk or USB uh, memory stick you're using um, you have to be prepared just to sacrifice the whole um, disk space so copy off anything important first because the popcorn R will reformat the whole disk it actually puts about three partitions on for the applications and the data. Okay, so um, and it formats the file system as ext3. That's a Linux type. So again, it's warning us that it's going to format the storage device and remove all the device contents. So when we click next, um, it asks us um, where the NMT setup source is. Um, we're going to use the online source and there's some terms and conditions to accept and then off it goes um, it does take a reasonable amount of time so we'll kill the video there and pick it up near the end so after uh, formatting the USB drive and installing the NMT applications, the popcorn R reboots and then restarts. After a while, uh, we need to go into setup, and I'll show you those. There's a new item appeared in the setup area for the NMT applications. Right, going to setup. We've now got NMT applications. and it shows you all the different services that uh, make up the NMT applications um, the plug and play AV server and my iHome server it has an FTP server a Samba network share server NFS server a torrent client and a Usenet client by default these are all uh, switched on but obviously you can choose which ones you want to have running um, it also fills in some uh, network share default names up above and so that's basically how you would set up a USB drive to be your uh, popcorn hour disk